Greetings, this is Max with Ideal Satellite Services and SDADish.com. Today we're going to take a look at the AZ Fox S2S Digital PVR Recorder and show you how it's operated. Okay, let's show you how to find the menu options. Press menu on the white buttons up here on the left hand side one time and it'll take you up to the menu. You want to scroll up to where the icon on the far right is and then with the navigating buttons right here on the remote control arrow down to the record manager that way we can see what's going on. Right now there's nothing recorded so I want you to keep an eye on this as we do more recordings and programming. So let's exit here. Now to do a recording a delayed time recording basically what you do is arrow from the remote control to the icon here in the middle the middle icon the little house says system setup scroll down with the remote to timer settings and hit OK now the timer settings is gonna show eight menus for recording options that say off we want to turn one of these on, so let's do this. Let's press the OK button one time, and this graphic pops up. We want You can select from several different options here. You can select from one, uh, ones, weekly, and then back to off. So we're going to do one recording, and we're going to scroll down to timer options. You can either have the receiver come on on the channel by itself, and notice that the recording options turned off, well, if it says channel and you want to do a recording uh, on your DVR, then what you need to do is hit the arrow on navigating buttons to the right one time so that it says record. And notice that the PS record is now highlighted. So now, let's go ahead and arrow down once by using the navigating buttons. And we'll leave it on 3ABN. We make sure that today's date is correct. Today is the 22nd. That looks good. We're going to drop down to the time right now is 10.47. I'm going to have it come on at 10.50. And I'm going to have it record for just a few minutes. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little cursor. If I press the arrow button, the little cursor moves back and forth. So I'm going to arrow underneath the number two I'm gonna put the cursor under the two and I'm gonna press the zero button and then the cursor moved over to the zero and I'm gonna press one that means I'm gonna record for 10 minutes at 10:50 a.m. I'm gonna scroll down and right now the record option is on no I wanted to say yes and press the right arrow until it says yes press the arrow button one more time until the save is highlighted in yellow and press save. Now notice up here that it is set up to record once on 3ABN on the 22nd and it comes on at 10.50 for 10 minutes. Now if it was one hour, half an hour, whatever, you can program that time on there. So now let's exit out of here. That uh, feature has been already been programmed to record on a delay time. So we exit out of here. Now notice how my uh, screen shows a little dot right here with a red dot in the center that tells you that we are now recording it came on by itself you can also turn off the set top walk away and it comes on automatically and records your program the uh, right now the program is being recorded so I don't want to watch it I want to go out and look at another station and see what's playing so I, all I have to do is go up and down on my channel selector and I'm gonna go see another program I can watch whatever other program I want without interrupting my current recording. So let's say I go here and I watch uh, another station and enjoy that whole program until it's done. Now, I'll know that the program is done recording when the dot disappears. One of the nice features about record, live record, for example, this program's playing right now and I want to record what's going on and hit the record button on the remote control here, it will begin recording. I'll pick TS 
recording mode and y'all see that it's now starting to record my program now I want to watch Hope Channel later uh, but I'm gonna jump into another channel let's say I jump over to this 3ABN notice that my dot is still on there means that it's recording the other channel so I can surf around and watch any channel that I please without missing out on the other one because it's being recorded in the background to stop your recording all you have to do is go to stop and it'll ask you you want to stop recording Hope Channel because that's the one I started with arrow to the left until the word is highlighted in yellow and press OK now the recording stopped this is called a time shift and what it is it will actually be able to rewind live broadcasting that you're watching for example I just missed something on this program and see in this little cluster of buttons if I press the slow button backwards it, I can actually rewind this whole program and go back if I hold it and go back quite a ways and re by playing the play button now I can now replay what had been uh, broadcasted just minutes before when you're ready to watch your program just go to your menu button on the remote control press it one time arrow over to the record manager which is on the right far, far right corner on your screen there and press the OK button in the navigating section here and record manager see it highlights hit it again and there you are there's a program that we recorded for 10 minutes now if we want to watch that program or any other program that may be on the list here which we only have one now uh, you all you have to do is press the OK button one time and it'll begin to play the program you pre-recorded here's a shortcut for you if you want to know what programs are available for you to watch right away without having to go through the menu just go down here to this little cluster of buttons where it says PVR it's the middle one press the PVR button one time twice I'm sorry and it'll bring up a menu now if you arrow up or down you notice that I it highlights in black so if I want to watch any one of these two all I do is highlight it the one in black is the one that's gonna play if I press OK it's gonna go back to that program so that's a nice little shortcut.